I'm Cosmo, but most people call me Mr. Kirby, or Mr. K, or K-Dog. <laughs> but that one's been a while. <clears throat> Owning this cafe is one of my greatest joys. In fact, it was right here that I began following Jesus. That decision totally changed my life. In fact, I was just thinking back to that time, all because of a question Shay asked me. Mr. K, what makes this place so special? Well, our world is a beautiful place, Shay. Not the world, man. This cafe. Everyone who comes here becomes different. Ah, I know what you mean. Believe it or not, the same thing happened to me, too. What? When? It all started about 25 years ago, in the year 1999. No, 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 no! Introducing Cosmo Kirby! That's me. Whoa, man. Sweet tunes. I can't believe you were around in the 90s. That's like... Not that long ago. <clears throat> My parents, Sam and Ethel, had just started this cafe. Back then, they called it the Cosmic Cafe. Oh, Cos, you're finally here. Okay, look, um, I really need to feed my Tamagotchi before I go roller skating tonight. That's my sister, Celeste. You have a sister? She lives in Oregon now. Anyway. Uh, Mom, Dad, Cos is finally here. So um, I'm headed out tonight to go roller skating with Katie. I did the dishes, I made coffee, and I finished all my homework. Ooh, listen to Little Miss Perfect. Well, I mopped the floors and I cleaned the windows. Ha, huh. not. I'm going to Esme's. Uh, no, you're working tonight. Says who? Uh, me. Look, I I've had this night off for like weeks oh, now. Talk to the hand, sis. I can do what I want. And besides, I've already got the car keys. Give them to me. Oh, do you? No, oh, they're mine. Oh, it's my turn. All right, fine. Oh, stop it, Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo. Who is that? Well, back then, she was Esme. But today, you'd call her Mrs. Kirby. What? No way. Oh, hey, Esme. I didn't think I'd see you here. Just couldn't wait to see me, huh? <laughs> You're ridiculous. I thought we could skate to Blockbuster and run a movie for tonight. That way Celeste can have the car keys. Of course. I was just about to give them to her. I'll buy us popcorn. I don't think Dad will mind if I take some money. I think he will. Not. I can do what I want. I'll smell you later, sis. Those are mine! Aww. Oh, Kaz is like so annoying. I mean, all he cares about is doing whatever he wants and taking all of mom and dad's money. I've literally been planning that going skating for like a week. And it's kind of hard to do that without your skates. That was a big moment. It didn't seem like one to me then, but it was. It was in that moment that Celeste and I went two totally different directions. What do you mean? Well, she was angry, and I was angry. But what we each did when we felt angry was completely different. Hey, God. Cause is, like, so annoying. But I want our family to get along, and him being my brother kind of makes him my family, I guess. Can you help me, like, I don't know, figure out what to do? So she started reading the Bible and stuff. What did you do? Nothing good. One night about a week later, Esme and I had argued, my parents had caught me taking their money, and I felt like everything was falling apart. No, Esme, I didn't mean it like that. If I... No, could you just please, I... No, says you, because Esme, I, hey. I... Cos, do you still have my skates? Not now, Celeste. Okay, you didn't break them or something, did you? I mean, the last time I saw them was when you went out with Esme. Cosmo! Could you leave me alone? 
It's probably because of you that mom and dad are mad at me right now. Uh, but I... Hey, what's the big deal? You can't keep taking money, skipping school, and treating your family like this. It's not right. You guys are totally lame all. <sighs> I'm leaving. Kaz, where are you going? Uh, literally anywhere. No, but I, I don't want you to go, Kaz. I mean, I forgive you for- oh, As if I want to talk about this with you. Look, I know you're mad, but- I gotta bounce. All right, this time I won't be coming back. I'll see you never. Man, you actually ran away? I actually did. Man, you actually ran away? I actually did. I stayed at a friend's house for a few days, but it couldn't last long. I had to head home. Over the next few weeks, I went one direction and Celeste went another. She tried to serve me, to help me. I kept on pulling further and further away. Hey, um, I'm walking to church tomorrow morning if you want to come. That way you don't have to ride with mom and dad since I know you're still not um, talking. You want a coffee? Made it just for you. It smells good. How rude. I was, and not just to Celeste. Esme! We don't even cuss. We have to get this history project done this week. So I wrote the paper, I did the research. I just need you to dress as Shakespeare and read this script. Please. Oh, this hat is ridiculous. Four score and seven Cuz. years. That's Abraham Lincoln. Celeste, can you help me out back here? Coming, Mom. Whatever, it won't matter. We're going to fail this history project anyway. Mr. Jones just doesn't like me. Well, that's a bad attitude to have. Who asked you? I guess no one asked me, and I can see you don't want to talk right now. You know, you're not who I thought you were, Cause. Well, then who am I, Esme? I think you need to answer that question for yourself. What am I doing? Everything is totally bugging right now. Why did I talk like that to Esme? Yeah, man. Why did you do that? Well, to tell you the truth, I was afraid. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I knew I had made mistakes, but if I admitted it to anyone else, it make it all real. Yes. I didn't want to need help. I didn't want to admit I was wrong until something happened. I just need to think about something else. Oh. Why is Celeste reading the Bible all the time? You just started reading the Bible? Kind of. I didn't understand it at first, but I had some help. So, oh. Not cool. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. What you reading? Nothing. Fine. What's the deal with these guys? With who? James and John in the Bible. Jesus walks up to them one day and says, follow me, and they leave their whole home and their family? I mean, that's whack. Why would they do that? That's a really good question, actually. Um, do you want to read their story together? I guess. OK. James and John were brothers who worked as fishermen until one day... Hey, James, John, follow me. Uh, yeah, let's go. See, this is what doesn't make sense. Hold on, okay, let's keep reading. James and John joined a group of people called Jesus' Disciples. They followed Jesus wherever he went. Oh, uh, you're gonna tell me that because they followed Jesus, their lives were perfect and they were all goody two-shoes. Actually, no. I mean, James and John were called Sons of Thunder. <laughs> we don't exactly know why, but it might have something to do with their tempers. Can you believe this? Those people were so mean to us. We have to get them back. Ooh, 
Jesus, can you call down fire from heaven to go burn that town up? Whoa, wait, James and John really said that? Totally. I mean, Jesus obviously didn't do that whole fire thing. <laughs> After following Jesus for three years, James and John saw Jesus get captured. People put him on a cross and he died. No. Yes. After three days, James and John got to meet Jesus again. But you just said he died. He did. But Jesus came back to life. I mean, he changed our world forever. James and John became two of Jesus' closest followers, and following Jesus totally changed their lives. They went from being angry, vengeful sons of thunder to being people who loved others like God does. In fact, check out this part of a letter John himself wrote. Here is what love is. It is not that we loved God, it is that he loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. Dear friends, since, since God, God loved us this much, we should also love one another. And that's the story. Celeste, these past few weeks you've been different. You don't get mad at me, you give me things, invite me to stuff. Are you trying to care for me like those verses say? Trying. I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. So way back in 1999, you came back home, you and Celeste forgave each other, and everything was great? Well, that was the day I decided to follow Jesus and changed my life. But it didn't make everything great right away. I had to fix things with Esme, for one. Come on. I'm trusting you, Celeste, but if Cause keeps acting like a scrub. <clears throat> it will be short. The interim is mine, and a man's life is no more than to say one. I am very sorry, good Esme, that I forgot myself in my anger, and now I pray forgive my careless words and bestow consequence as fits thy honor. You memorized some Shakespeare? It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Using big words is actually fun. He even wrote part of that himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> apology accepted. But you still have to show up for our presentation at school tomorrow. <laughs> well, obviously that turned out okay. You and Esme ended up getting married. We certainly did. It took a little more work to smooth things out with my family, though. I started by apologizing and actually doing what they told me to do. Okay, I'm going to go in there and say, Mom and Dad, I'm sorry for running away, for taking money and for skipping school all of those times, and for... Well, maybe that's enough to start with. Eventually, I went from feeling very misunderstood and alone to being truly thankful for my family. Oh, hey, Celeste. How was Comic Club? Oh, I, it was great. I mean, Esme is a fantastic artist. I know she is. You are too. Well, I don't know if I'll ever actually finish a comic book, though. Can I? Yeah, here. Hmm. Skyward Scouts. Oh, it looks totally legit. You gotta finish it. Oh, thanks. Oh, I made you your favorite coffee on the house. Cause I work here too. And a card, really. <laughs> thanks for believing in me first, Celeste. Even when I didn't believe in myself. I certainly made mistakes. But kind of like James and John, I stopped following my own way and started following Jesus. He helped me become more kind, more patient, and peaceful. I definitely learned that following Jesus changes your life. Jesus is the one who transformed me, who took me from where I was to where I am today. Yeah, you're like 
super kind and patient now. Nothing like that Cosmo guy. That's all because of Jesus. Are you trying to get me to follow Jesus too? Well, I'd be overjoyed if you did, but that decision is totally up to you. Huh. Well, thanks for the talk, Mr. K. I gotta get to school. Anytime, Shay. Well, I thought Phantom Menace was great. I just thought the old ones were better, that's all. Well, you can't stop change any more than you can stop the sun from setting. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mom, Celeste and I are heading off to church. We've gotta get there early so we can volunteer. Mm. Okay, kids, see you there. I've got something for you. Whoa, new skates? Rad. I thought that we could roll to church in style. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Hey God, I don't know what you have planned next, but I'm ready to follow you no matter what. Thank you, God, for leading me so well. <laughs>